Yeah. 
Today, as we worship God, today, as you have made a sacrifice, I tell you, my brothers and sisters, God honors you. And I pray today that everything that the locusts and the cankerworm has eaten up and stolen, that God would store, restore to you some 10, some 60, some 100 fold. Sometimes we have to let go of situations so God can move in the way he wants to move it. But as we worship him, I pray that God would bring healing to your spirit today. That he would refresh you and strengthen you. As we do one thing, as we praise him. Let's forget about ourselves. Let's concentrate on him and worship him. It said we will come into this house, we've gathered in this name to worship him. More than anything else. That God would use us as vessels of honor. Rejoice always. Pray continually. And in everything give thanks. For this is the will of God for you. In Christ Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Thank you Jesus. Come to this house just to praise you. My worship receive. I'm praying, Lord, please. I won't let this time be in vain. Oh no, for I am determined to love you. I'm committed to bless. Name. So I ask you, Lord, yes. Lord, honor this moment and touch each heart. Won't you be glorified in the service? Jesus, thank you, Lord. We can't have this moment without you. No, no, no. Lord, come in your power and strengthen this hour. Send your anointing to bless. For we are determined to praise you. Committed to giving our best, so we need you to bless yes, us this time of praise. Hallelujah! Honor this moment of worship, Lord. Please touch each heart. This time, yes, hey, the prayer. Oh, yes, oh, bless this time, bless this time of praise. Honor this moment of worship. We came to worship you, Lord Jesus. Touch us, Lord. Touch us, Lord, be glorified in the service.
can satisfy my soul like you. Who on earth can comfort me and love me like you do? Who could ever be more faithful and true? I will trust in you. I will trust in you, my God. Satisfy my soul like you. Who on earth can comfort me and love me like you do? Who could ever be more faithful and true? See, I will trust in you.
promise about the visions and the dreams that the Holy Spirit will be poured out and His power will be seen. Well, the time is now and the place is here and His people have come in faith. There's a mighty sound and a touch of fire when we gather in one place. I believe that the presence of God one thing that can't be changed the spirit of God is here I believe I believe that the presence of God, God is here the two or three are gathered the people who rise and fail I believe God answers and His presence is in this place I believe the promise about the vision and the dreams that the Holy Spirit will be poured out and His power will be seen. Well, the time is now and the place is here and His people have come in faith. There's a mighty sound and a touch of fire when we gather in one place. I say that the presence of Jesus said that he would 
set their souls on fire. Suddenly, the sound of the wind came rushing in, and their souls were set aflame. And to them, he gave the power. When they call upon His name, suddenly I can feel His mighty power. Suddenly I can feel the change within, and I know that I will never. Never be the same again. You can find what you need at the altar. Leave behind every weight that presses in for the spirit of the Lord is still moving. Suddenly. Your heart become troubled. No need to be afraid. When it seems you don't have strength to carry on, there is glory in God's presence. There is healing in His word. He's our anchor and our peace in every storm. So, my friend, call on the Lord and trust His word. Age to age, He's still the same. For He's a God that hears us and a God that loves us. There's power in His name. I can feel His mighty power. Suddenly, I can feel the change within, and I know that I will never, never be the same again. You can find what you need at the altar. That the Spirit of the Lord is still moving. Thank God, the Spirit of the Lord is still moving. Suddenly. And your hand 
it comforts me from the ends of the earth to the depth of my heart let your mercy and strength be seen yes you call me to your purpose as angels understand for your glory may you draw
love you, God. You make me strong. God is a bedrock under my feet, the castle in which I live, my rescuing knight, my God, the high crag, where I run for dear life, hiding behind the boulders, safe in the granite hideout. I sing to God, the praise lofty, and find myself safe and saved. The hangman's noose was tied at my throat. Devil waters rushed over me. Hell's ropes cinched me tight. Death traps barred at every exit. A hostile world. But I call to God. I cry to God to help me. From his palace he hears my call. My cry brings me right into his presence, a private audience. See, he caught me and reached all the way from sky to sea. He pulled me out of that ocean of hate, that enemy of chaos. The void in which I was drowning, they hit me when I was down, but God stuck by me. He stood me up on a wide open field and I stood there saved, surprised to be loved. God made my life complete when I placed all the pieces before him. When I got my act together, he gave me a fresh start. Now I'm alert to God's ways. I don't take God for granted. Every day I review the ways he works. I try not to miss anything. I feel put back together. And I'm watching my step. God rewrote the text of my life when I opened the book of my heart to his eyes. Suddenly, God, you floodlight my life. I'm blazing with glory, God's glory. I smash the bands of the marauders. I vault the highest fences. What a God. His road stretches straight and smooth. Every God direction is road tested. Everyone who runs towards him makes it. I run to you.